Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video of how to take apart the death adder to fix the scroll wheel problem. So first of all, there's two t uh, screws under the tabs at the top, uh, the front end of the mouse. You just have to peel them back, they're stickers. Uh, it was a little easy for me with the knife to get under it and pull those off. And uh, there is also a screw underneath the sticker here. So as you go through, you're going to have to cut a little hole to get to that screw. Uh, the, so those are the only three screws holding it together at the bottom. Uh, make sure you have the right kind of screwdriver. Uh, as you can see, you don't have to have the tools to do it, but a computer screwdriver, you know, if you have a variety, it's going to make it a lot easier. So you got to go through. They, they are harder to get out than I was expecting. So if they give you a little trouble, make sure you don't strip those screws because you will not be able to get your mouse open. So make sure you use a good enough screwdriver to get those screws out and make sure you keep those screws because they are tiny and they are easy to lose. Uh, so I also keep those stickers from the top of the, the mouse. So on the front of the mouse here is a spot that I found of it's pretty easy to get the mouse apart. Uh, there's two screws holding this uh, little board onto the top of the mouse. You're going to want to go ahead and take those off. Now, I ordered mine refurbished, and so one of my screws would not come off. You can see here uh, it was stripped already when I opened the mouse, so that was a pain. Uh, I tried to pull it out, and finally I was able to get it out after I used a knife to pry it off. So, you're going to take the scroll wheel out. One side of the scroll wheel has kind of a little divot on one side. Mine had a hair in that and stuff. It's a really old mouse. Uh, so you're going to take a piece of tape and uh, tape it on the side that has the divot, the smaller side. Make sure you don't use too much. you got to size it right and stick it on there. Uh, circle it around. And there is the spot where the divot goes in. Uh, the smaller side goes into the scrolling part of the mouse. Uh, you can go ahead and roll it there right there. Uh, the bigger side is the part where it clicks right here uh, for the middle mouse click. Uh, so mine was stuck. I was able to get it out with a piece of pliers, pair of pliers, sorry. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and put the board back in. Make sure it goes under those two tabs there. Push it all down. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Test it. Make sure it's scrolling right. And go ahead and start screwing this back in. Uh, you're going to go ahead and screw that bottom screw in and the top screw. Um, I went ahead and had to use the pliers to get it back in sort of tight. You don't really need it 100%. The bottom one worked fine. Uh, make sure that you put the cord back in the right spot uh, before you shut it and you should be good to go to put those screws back in. Uh, go ahead and put those screws in. Uh, it was a little easier to tighten and loosen it uh, when I did it, it kind of changed up the screws. You're going to want to line up that tab, put it back on, put those stickers back on. I used a little kind of a flat surface thing here to kind of push it back on really good. Uh, you don't want those stickers falling off. Those kind of help the friction and everything when you're moving the mouse. So that is how you fix the Razer Death Adder mouse. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I am not a mechanic, tech, or an electrical engineer, or anything like that. So hopefully that helped you, and I will catch you guys next time.